right. There's our manifold back on the block torqued to specifications and ready to mount the carbs up. I showed you earlier how you could use just normal sewing thread and tie your gaskets on, make it a little easier. Now we're going to put the carbs in place, get a couple bolts started, and just start putting all that back together. Now, as, as you saw earlier, I kept all the linkage together and fuel lines together and such just to make a unit out of it, so to speak. I want to kind of get stuff lined up looking here. Slide our bolts in. Start the bolts into our manifold holes. This is where you can really appreciate the the gaskets being held for you. Just makes things a little easier. Alright, we've got to start. Now, we had this bracket that goes on top. This our Hold our air box in place. Get everything lined up. Then on the bottom car bolts, we had our oil tank or oil reservoir bracket that goes on with that one. Bolts started in place. Get everything kind of started together. Then we can start tightening it down and fine tuning it. But anyway, there you have it. Made a pretty tough job, fairly simple. Uh, just tying those gaskets with the sewing thread on the the machine surfaces on the carb really helps out because you'd be trying to fight around all that and it's just so tight in there it's hard to get your big fat fingers in there or my big fat fingers anyway I won't bore you with any more of this for a moment I'll go ahead and get this all tightened down and cleaned up and we'll look back at it in a minute well here we are back together again complete uh, all in all, not a bad project. Certainly doable. Uh, I suggest you get a shop manual. Follow the procedures. It's got all the the torque specs in it. Uh, just a lot of good info that you really need. Not that you couldn't fake it, I guess. But... Uh, you're leaving some things to chance. But don't be a bit afraid to tackle this stuff. Just get all the information you need and uh, hope this helps you. Thank you.